ever wondered how people manage to make very soft chapatis? Well, you know more because on today's video, we'll be doing a very simple three ingredient chapati recipe with a simple technique on how to achieve soft chapati. Let's get right into it. To make our chapatis, we will need three cups all purpose flour, half a cup cooking oil, a tablespoon of salt, and a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. First, we go in with all our dry ingredients. We add our salt. We add our cinnamon powder. We mix our dry ingredients. And then we go in with our cooking oil. All we do is rub in our cooking oil to our flour mixture. We rub in our oil to our flour mixture until we achieve a bread crumb texture. At the end of our rubbing in, this will be the texture of our flour mixture. Rubbing in is the easiest technique of making soft chapatis. There isn't anything you're going to add to your flour mixture. At this point, we add in our water and knead our dough. Our dough is at this consistency. We will knead it for approximately five minutes on a flat surface. We'll just knead it while pulling it. We do this to help the gluten expand. Our dough is ready. All we have to do is cover it with our cling foil for 15 minutes before rolling it out. After 15 minutes, this will be our dough. We just get out our foil and place it on our foil. You can apply flour on your surface to, to avoid your dough sticking. All we do is stretch our door, just like, and stretch it. After stretching our door, we go in and cut it out. Remember in this recipe, we're trying to avoid a lot of oil in our chapatis. Because because we used the wrapped in method, we don't need to apply oil again to our dough. Hence, we just cut it out and get it ready for rolling. Our 
at this point we have our door all rolled out into balls ready to be rolled into chapati so let's get it done Ensure that your pan is hot. Then we go in with our chapati. We get our chapati on the pan. Give it a few seconds to dry. We turn it. Get oil on the dry side. Ensure that you apply it evenly. We turn it over. You will realize that your chapatis will be rising. This is as the result of the rubbed in method that we used when we were dealing with our flour mixture. It's a good thing. It's not about self-raising flour or baking powder. Don't forget to leave your thoughts on the comment section. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.